الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله from some of the sincere prophetic advice meaning is taken from advice from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and the sabeel of mu'mineen radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een that taken from that I'd like to offer <coughs> some advice to my brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah in Europe in general as amongst the youth especially and that advice as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned ad-deena nasiha ad-deena nasiha qala liman qala lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rusulihi wa li a'immatul muslimin wa a'ammatihim ruahu muslim in this hadith of sahih muslim the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said ad-deena nasiha the deen is a sincere advice and they asked liman he said lillahi you know, this is sincere sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here the meaning is slightly different. When we say deen and nasiha, it means ikhlas. It means ikhlas lillah. It means being sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfilling the commandments to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshipping Allah azza wa jal. Lillahi wa kitabihi and to his book by practicing the book, learning the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practicing it. That's what sincerity here means. Wali Rusulihi and following the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and loving all of the messengers alayhim after Salatu Wasalam. And to the Imams of the Muslims, to give advice to the Imams of the Muslims. A Sami Wata. As the Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam said, A Sami Wata al Mari al Muslim Fima Yuhibu wa Kariya. It is uh, following the leader of the Muslims in those things which you like and what you don't like. As long as he doesn't command you with sinfulness, as long as the leader doesn't command you with disobedience to Allah, فَلَا سَمْعَ وَلَا طَعَ كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ Then there is no hearing and there is no uh, obeying. So as long as the Muslim leader, if you are in a place a locality, a country which is governed by uh, a Muslim leader, then it is on you, especially those who have the bay'ah, and then those in general who are in the country, legally or illegally, to respect the laws and respect the ruler and follow and be obedient to the ruler because you've entered his country under some sort of covenant or pact, bi'idnillah. And to give sincere advice to the general Muslims. So, following this Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Fi Kitab Al Karim, wa Tasimu Bi Habli Lai Jamiin, wa La Tafarraku." And hold on of you, hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not divide. What do the ulama say about this dividing? The scholars of tafsir have mentioned regarding this Tasimu uh, bi the hablillah, the rope of Allah. Hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah. What does the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean? Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala an said, huwa jama'a. Qala alaykum bi jami'a, jami'an, bi ta'a, wal bil jama'a. Fa innaha hablillah alladhi amara bih, or umara bih, wa in, wa inna ma taqrahuna fil jama'ati wa ta'ati khayr mimma tuhibbuna fil furqa. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala said about the jama'ah 
and holding on to the rope of, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, huwa jama'ah. He said, the, the hablillah is the jama'ah. It is the, uh, the, the, the main group uh, of Muslims, the main body of Muslims. And he said, alaykum bi jami'an bi ta'ati wa bil jama'ah. It's upon you, all of you, to be obedient and stick with the main group of the Muslims, the jama'ah. And he said, for verily, it is the rope of Allah which you were commanded to follow. And even if you hate something from the jama'ah, and obe uh, uh, obedience is better than that which you love from division. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah, let's, let's, let's look at that. He said, for verily the rope of Allah is what you were commanded with. And those things which you hate from the jama'ah, obedience is better than what you love of disagreement or division. So Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala an made it clear for us that the, the that in this tafsir of the jama'ah, uh, of hablillah, is that it refers to the jama'ah, the main body of the Muslims. And what he said that was so profound in that last ibarah, or that last statement, he said, because of those things that you hate from the jama'ah, you know, from being with the, the body of the Muslims, obedience, you know, and sticking with the jama'ah is better than those things that you love by being divided. Let's analyze this. How does this fit with the nasiha that I want to offer my brothers and sisters in Europe? I want to offer them, and in fact the youth around the world, to avoid division. And that means that uniting is upon the hablillah. So the brothers and sisters, the reverts, and those who are not reverts, or converts, or whatever you want to call, call us, that all of us should stick to the main body of Muslims. But this is muqayyid. This has, this has been restricted. That doesn't mean we stick with the main body of Sufis, even if most of the people are Sufi. Or that doesn't mean that we adhere to the Jamaat of Khwana Muslimin because most of the people are Khwana Muslimin. La. It means that we have to hold on to the real Hablillah, which is the Jamaat of Ahlul Sunnah Tibul Jamaat, those who adhere to the Quran and adhere to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, that that's what they're trying and they're striving and they're fighting to adhere to. So that is what it is restricted to. Those who call the Tawheedillah, those who don't want to leave and, and, and remove the principles of the religion. And why do I address this to my brothers and sisters in Europe? Instead of my brothers and sisters in America, which it's to them as well. But because I see in Europe, I do see that we have differences in our culture with even being from the West. There is la shak, there is a different way of even uh, the way Islam came and the practice and, and many, there, there are many differences that we find. And with that, I see sometimes that there's a, a, a kind of a, and, and we see this even from the evidences that in Europe, extremism tends to be You find it more than you find in America. And I don't know if there's cultural factors. I don't know all the reasons. Getting into that is not the time. This is not the time for that discussion. But we have to, as Ahlul Sunnah, the youth of Ahlul Sunnah, atlub al ilm, seek knowledge, beneficial knowledge. Do not busy yourself. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Kathar taqil wa qal. Do not involve yourself in matters that don't concern you by getting into this one and carrying the news about this one and getting into backbiting about this one and getting into this issue and that issue and not learning your religion. And likewise, you have so many enemies who hate Ahlul Sunnah who fight Ahl Sunnah, who run and refute Ahl Sunnah, who spend their, their waking days and their evenings 
refuting Ahl Sunnah and plotting against Ahl Sunnah and hating Ahl Sunnah and calling the people away from Ahl Sunnah. So why is it that we find our brothers from Ahl Sunnah hating, threatening, physically fighting sometimes? One another from Ahl Sunnah. You disagree about one Shaykh, but all of your usul is the same. All of your minhaj is the same. Or you disagree on how to make tatbik of an issue in minhaj, of, uh, of an issue in the methodology of the Salaf. But you spend time, hours, videos, books, refuting and attacking and killing one another and destroying one another's honor and the Hizbiyoon are laughing at you. And Ahl Bid'ah is growing like a cancer. So they're getting so big and they're multiplying so much as if Sorry, Akramakum Allah, to make this uh, analogy as if the pus of their cancer is exploding and new cancer cells of Hezbiyah is spreading around the world. But what are you doing? You're attacking one another's honor. You're busy at one another's throat. You're busy in backbiting, writing literally books and treatises about one another. And you have the same minhaj. You studied in the same, uh, some of the same maraqas al-ilm and some of the same universities and the same mashayikh. Subhanallah. So my advice to my brothers and sisters is to hold to steadfast and stay away from, as going back to that ibarah of Ibn Mas'ud, and I wanted to say so much more, but I just want to mention this last thing going back to that ibarah, because it's so relevant. He said, Wada'a khayrun mimma tuhibbuna fil firqa. And he said, obedience, meaning obedience to the ruler, but likewise, sticking with the jama'ah, the jama'ah of Ahlul Sunnah, is better for you than those things which you love of division. Meaning, you might love some aspects of Hizbiyah, and you may not call it Hizbiyah, just because this one doesn't agree with you about one Shaykh or two Mashaykh, and this one doesn't agree with you about this masjid, and praying in that masjid, and giving a lecture in that masjid, and this one says those people are people of Hizbiyah, and you walked with them. One issue, but you know this, brothers, on Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but yet you choose that division. You choose to go away from the Athar of Ibn Mas'ud. Because in fact, Al Jama'a, Al Jama'a, Al Jama'a. So we're looking at our brothers and sisters, and regardless, even if they make mistakes, correct your brother. Why not correct your brother? Why not advise your brother and be patient? Look at this example Imam Rabi' bin Hadi al Madkhali, half of Allah Ta'ala. Who is known to many, the Hizbiyun no think of him as the most uh, shadid. Not just on Ahl Bidda, but they just think he's, he's Ghul. Okay, this is what the Hizbiyun say. And even some from Ahl Sunnah might think the Shaykh sometimes is Mutashaddid. But this Imam throughout his career is known for those who are closer to him and in and in, in, in his his own descriptions of being patient with those people and their mistakes before coming out and refuting what about all those students who do make ta'asib of him because there are we got we got to come clean with ourselves there are some brothers and sisters who blindly follow the sheikh in everything do they follow him in this matter that's what we have to ask ourselves. This is not a particular attack on any particular individuals. This is am. This is general. So don't try to deduce and say this is about this maktaba or this is about this group or this is about this masjid. No. What you heard from my mouth is I'm telling you from a years, at least 15, almost 20 years of experience related to the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah with the, from the time of Sheikh Muqbil until current times, many mashayikh of what I've seen with my eyes and what I experienced and, 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 and witnessed with my ears and my eyes and been in gatherings of. And the point being a habit of Allah, is learn your deen so you don't have to blind follow in every issue. Learn your deen so you have a defense against people who will attack you and attack the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah. Learn your deen so you can distinguish between haq and batil. 
and be patient with your brothers. Even if some of your brothers are more extreme, even be patient with them. If you can't be around them, stay away from them, but don't speak ill of them. Strive your best not to. And those brothers you see that are mutasahil from Ahlul Sunnah, that sometimes they, they belittle the Qawaid of Ahlul Sunnah and they have mistakes, be quiet and, and, and advise them as well. And be patient with them as well. Because Ahlul Sunnah is in need of one another because that's what makes Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. If you're by yourself and Ahlul Sunnah is, is, is around, but you make no excuses, you made, you've declared everyone an innovator, everyone has made a mistake according to you, what do you have? And how much istiqama are you going to be stay, stay on? How much is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to protect you? Because you're ordered to be with the jama'ah. So right now we know the jama'ah is mojood everywhere. You can probably go to Alaska and find Ahl Sunnah there. A few. You can go to some remote village in France, perhaps, or around the world is the point. China, everywhere. You'll find Ikhwan and Afi Philippine. Everywhere. You'll find somebody. As the Prophet said, There won't cease to be a group from my nation that, cease, that continues to be on the, proof, on, on the truth. And may Allah bless us to be on the truth. May Allah bless us with ikhlas, with the bat. May Allah forgive me for any mistakes that I made. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizq al-tayb, wa amal al-muttaqabbil, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.